All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about three ways that your website can actually save you time. Let's dive on in. All right, so the first way that your website can actually save you time is by having a FAQ page. Now, when you have an FAQ page, it'll actually, well, let me just say FAQ page means frequently asked questions. But the biggest thing is, is that having an FAQ page is going to allow you to be able to map out a lot of the questions that you're frequently getting asked in your inbox, that you're frequently getting asked in um, your emails, all that good stuff, right? So you want to make sure that you're taking note of those questions that you're getting all the time to add to an FAQ page. So that way, when people are going through the process of booking you, um, learning about your product, whatever that may be, those questions are already there and can be answered right on the spot. All right, so the second thing that a website can do to save you time is really streamline that proposal process. So when you're thinking about when someone goes onto your website, especially if you're service-based, um, someone goes onto your website, they see your services, you can actually go ahead and streamline that process by using something called Dubsado. Um, you can also do it all manually as well for your website too, but you can start off with a form that'll um, input all of their information. You can get a lot of those um, big questions out of the way. And then from there, you have the ability to be able to get that submitted on over to you. So a lot of your questions are actually already answered to be able to kind of formulate that proposal. So if someone is looking for a website, and you're like, okay, so how many pages do you need? Do you need any extra plugins? Like, is there anything else additionally that you're gonna need to have added? Anything in particular you're looking for? You know, questions like that um, are going to really streamline that proposal process to be able to get you booked a lot faster. And number three, the final way that you have the ability to be able to save time on your website is by using booking plugins. So if you are familiar with Acuity, Calendly, um, those are the top two that I see. Those are both different website services that are going to allow you to be able to have a calendar. And from there, you're gonna be able to input the times that you're available. Um, it'll also, depending on what level you have, it'll also block out what's already blocked out in your calendar. So if you have a doctor's appointment, it won't allow someone to schedule a booking call with you at the same time as well. So the really cool thing is that you have the ability to be able to streamline those bookings. If you do free consult calls, if you do actual coaching calls, it makes things a lot easier. So that way you're not having to email back and forth. You're not having to try to figure out a time. It'll do it all there for you. Simple and easy. And it converts time zones. That is the real winner here. Real, real winner. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining in with me today. I hope you guys found this valuable. Make sure you hit subscribe so that way I can share more content with you.